Hi folks, Nox from High on Android.com and Galaxy S4 Root.com. Uh, happy 420. Actually, just <laughs> turned 420. I just turned this on. Uh, anyway, I've got a final ROM of the day. Uh, this is the Carbon ROM, and I actually kind of like it a lot. Um, it is also available for many other phones, so definitely check it out, if, even if you don't have a Galaxy S4. Uh, this is running the latest Android 5.1.1. This is an unofficial version. Um, I got it installed on my GTI 9505, but since GTI 9505 is fully compatible with AT&T and T-Mobile S4, you can also install it on AT&T or T-Mobile S4. Now, if you have AT&T S4, make sure you have Unlock Bootloader. That means uh, if you root it, if you got this phone when it first came out and you root it, uh, you've been installing custom ROMs, you know what I mean. If you have MDK, MDK Bootloader, you can install this ROM. Um, so very nice ROM. If you don't have one of these uh, variants, if you don't have a uh, GTI 9505, uh, maybe you have a Sprint or Verizon or US Cellular Galaxy S4. Another great ROM is Dirty Unicorns, ah, Dirty Unicorns ROM um, that I reviewed, uh, I think yesterday or a couple of days ago. I had a review with the Galaxy S3, so check that out and I also have it on my site, uh, the links to the files if you need it on galaxys4root.com. Um, Dirty Unicorns ROM is another great ROM, but this is another great choice if you have a GTI 9505, obviously, or AT&T or T-Mobile. Um, latest version, 5.1.1, you get Super SU for uh, root, of course. Performance is actually pretty good. Let me go ahead and show you my N22 benchmark uh, scores. Uh, near 30,000, so that's actually very, very good for Galaxy S4, obviously. And uh, the launcher comes with the Android M style uh, here. And of course, Carbon ROM has been around for quite a while now. I think ever since like Jelly Bean, Kit Kat, and you know, it's been one of my favorite ROMs um, because it offers a ton of great customization. You can find all of that in uh, Carbon ROM fibers. Now, it, these things kind of look similar, but uh, every one of these ROMs have slightly different features. Um, so let me just kind of browse through some of the stuff you can do. Battery status, uh, network activity up here, and also network traffic. Um, this one has a little bit more, you can do bytes per second, bits per second, uh, slightly more options for the network traffic. I mean, there's like a ton, you can see. Uh, carrier label, notification system icons. Um, you can change the colors here. Uh, buttons, you can go ahead and customize all of your hardware buttons here. Uh, short press, long press, and all that good stuff. Uh, I've got my recent uh, switch to the menu because I got used to it with the uh, S6 and the Note 4. Um, also, you can go ahead and enable uh, navigation bar buttons if you want and you can go ahead and customize these here and this one um, you can go ahead and only add like a menu button uh, it's not as the one I like so I don't actually really use it but if your buttons are broken down here uh, I would really advise actually replacing them but if you can you can go ahead and use soft buttons um, you can also play with the navigation bar if you're using soft keys you can also use navigation ring uh, power menu gives you option for screenshot, screen recording, all of these options. Um, so that is really nice. And also Slim Pie, if you want uh, Pie controls, you can go ahead and customize all your actions there. Uh, enable your Slim Pie. A notification drawer, um, you can go ahead and enable four tiles per row. Uh, enlarge first row, get rid of that. Ah. And that way you have uh, more rows to put your uh, quick tiles, and you can also go ahead and add, uh, customize your tiles here, different ways. Oh, let's actually take a look at some of this stuff. Uh, this thing provides ADB, Compass is like my new favorite lollipop thing. All the new uh, ROMs have it. And uh, of course, don't forget uh, that your torch. Eh, where is it? Should be under flashlights. Ooh, this one actually doesn't have it. Ooh, that's disappointing. Okay, this one doesn't have it, sorry. Um, also, you've got uh, custom color options, uh, which is nice, sort of an extra thing over other ROMs. Uh, weather, that's good. I'm um, show the weather with location. Ah, that way it'll show me I'm in Daly City. It's 70 degrees Fahrenheit, pretty accurate. It's actually more like 65 here. 
advanced options, touchscreen gestures, um, some additional stuff you can do. When the phone's off, you can like wave it to see your notifications. Um, so pretty good ROM. Um, you know, there's a ton of great ROMs out right now. Carbon ROM and Dirty Unicorns. Uh, if you have a phone so that supports Carbon ROM, definitely check this one out. Uh, if this, pff, this one doesn't work for you, definitely check out the Dirty Unicorns ROM. It's awesome also. Um, but uh, that's it for this week. But uh, I'm going to go on to the Galaxy S5 Nix and then the S6. And then we'll go through all the notes this week. Um, so stay tuned, folks. I have more stuff coming. And as always, I'll stay on Android. Mm -hmm.